welcome, Dr. Phil. Hi. Have a seat, if you will. Why did you want to be here today? Um, there were a couple reasons why I wanted to be here. I just felt that it was important that if you had contacted the show and you felt like you needed closure, that if there was anything that I could do to help with that, then I felt like it, it was important for me to be here for that. And <clears throat> I have not apologized to you in court or at any other time because <clears throat> I just haven't felt that. Do you think I'm sorry is going to change anything? No, okay. I don't. I don't at all. Okay. And um, and that's why I haven't. I feel, I mean, I've always felt like it was not anything that you needed. Or I mean, I don't <clears throat> know necessarily to say needed is appropriate, but... I just have never felt like it was something that I should do, and especially not in a courtroom. And I just, I felt like if this was my opportunity to express that to you, that I should take that opportunity. What do you mean, what they needed? I mean, it's like you're doing them a favor? I, I don't no, understand. I'm not, no, I'm not trying to do them a favor. That's not. I don't mean it like that, and I don't mean it disrespectfully in any way, and that's why I've never said it, <laughs> because I don't, I don't want to be like that. You and are I, like that. And I understand that you feel that way. I don't feel it. I know it. And that's fine. That's... Hope, oh, let me ask you a question. How do you think you could have made this up to us? What could you have done to make this up to us there, and to Shanda? I don't think that there's anything that I could do to make oh, this up to oh, you. Oh, but there was. There was one thing you could have done. You could have stayed in prison, and you could have served out your sentence. That's what you could have done. There was only one thing you could have done, because you can't bring her back. You can't make that night go away. You can't take back all that you did to my child. But you could have stayed in jail. And you could have served your sins. That's the only thing that they ask of you. That's the only thing I ask of you. But you had to try over and over and over and over and over because it was always about you and what you wanted, not about what you should have done. So don't ever say you're sorry because you're not sorry. Do you have children, Hope? No. God, I hope you never do. I hope nothing good for your life. I'm sorry, but I hope nothing good. Because, see, I get to sit here next to you. She's six feet under because of you. We don't get to see her and sit next to her and talk to her and have interviews with people. I don't know how you get up every day and look at yourself in the mirror. I don't. I didn't think I wanted to speak to you, but I really do want to ask you a question. Why? Why did you do it to her? You didn't even know her. You never met her. I mean, how could you just, how, how can, tell me how somebody does that. I don't have an answer for you on that, and you I'm did sorry. It. Just tell me. Tell me how you I did, did it. I did. I did do it. I know. I did. And so I tell me how that happens. I don't have an answer for that. I don't, and I'm sorry. Nothing that I have is a justification. That's, that's a reason. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.